nicest people in the whole world. Well, she seems nice. Okay. So, um, wow, that was, uh, that was me doing an impression. I'm obviously a very talented actress. Um, hi. Okay. I do stand-up. You can't tell yet. But uh, <laughs> I do a little stand-up comedy. And I go around the country. I do some stand-up I'll go anywhere. I really will. And I've been to many places, and I've loved everywhere that I've gone except for one place. There's only been the one bad place. I'm a people person. I love everywhere. But I have now been to North Platte, Nebraska. Has anyone been to North Platte, Nebraska? It f***ing blows, doesn't it? It's a terrible place. I don't like them. I don't like their children. I don't like their, uh, I don't like the people. I won't eat their cattle. They're terrible, terrible people. The rest of Nebraska is fine. Have you been to the rest of Nebraska? You went to college in Nebraska, the, the, the corn huskers or some damn thing. Okay, good for me. Um, Here's the thing, is uh, car I've been all over Nebraska because my career is on fire. <laughs> but I've been to like Kearney and Columbus and Omaha and Lincoln. I've been all over Nebraska. And the rest of Nebraska's fine. They got cable, they got the thumb. It's all working out for them, the rest of Nebraska. North Platte, Nebraska, morons. Morons and assholes, quite honestly. I was mistaken for a local, which is usually not a problem. In, in a small town for me, but uh, in North Platte, Nebraska, it means that I was having a beverage at the bar before the show began, and a giant man thought I was someone he knew. So I'm standing at the bar, and this huge guy is walking towards me, screaming at me at the top of his lungs. Who said you could get out of the truck? <laughs> that is a bad night of comedy. It's not going to go well. The stand-up comedy is not going to be very positive when you're mistaken for some lug's battered wife right off the bat. I don't know. It's not a good, and it's not like I don't like small towns. I love a small town. Actually, um, I was in Fairbanks, Alaska last year doing the troops, which never comes out right. But <laughs> don't go to Fairbanks, Alaska, by the way, in the middle of the winter, A, eh? and then uh, announce to a full bar that you've never been on a snowmobile because there will be a man who's had a couple of beers, who says, we're going right now, we're going. And <laughs> that man's wife will have clothes for you because they're good people. And what you'll do is you'll get into that guy's $500 truck <laughs> and you will drive to his $14,000 home so that you can get on to his $27,000 snowmobile. Because <laughs> he's got his ducks in a row. Because he's no, he knows what's said, his bread is buttered, whatever. This is distracting, the fact that you have to stare at my ass all night. That's nice for me. <laughs> my apologies. Okay, so, uh, <laughs> I, uh, <laughs> I like it in Los Angeles. A lot of I know it's not cool to say you like Los Angeles. I know there's a lot of people who want to rain on your parade when you come to Los Angeles. And the parade rainers are truly the worst people in Los Angeles. The ones who, if you're excited about seeing a palm tree or the Hollywood sign, lighten up. It's fine. But and and, and I see famous people sometimes, and that's exciting. And I understand if I if I go bad because I have seen Screech, then yes, make fun of me. That's fine. That's an attainable goal. Him and Eric Estrada, those guys are everywhere. But I saw Keanu Reeves. Keanu Reeves, yeah, drinking at 11.30 a.m. Pass it on. Okay. <laughs> but I see him, and I think he's very, very handsome, and I tell a friend of mine, hey, I saw Keanu Reeves, he's very handsome. And she said, yeah, he's cute, but you know he's gay. And you know what? I don't. I don't know. Uh, <laughs> you know what I do know? It's never going to be an issue. We are not going to date, Keanu and I. <laughs> I am never going to have to fire the caterers because Keanu's decided to come out of the closet. I mean, I don't even think he's the brightest bulb on the tree, quite honestly. I mean, I wouldn't kick him out of bed if he wanted to discuss philosophy, though I might say, shh. <laughs> You're so purdy. And, uh, yeah. But, I don't know. It's, uh, but I, 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 did, I, I moved here from Minnesota. Anybody here from Minnesota? Oh, yeah? All right. Where are you from? You're from Minneapolis itself right there, the, the big city. I'm very, I lived there for six years. It was very exciting. I moved there from here. Do you live here now? 
Uh, do you, where do you live? Anywhere glamorous? Sherman Oaks, sort of, but not really. But, uh, <laughs> hey, I don't have a leg to stand in. I uh, live in Van Nuys. That's right. <laughs> Thinking of turning the garage into a porn studio to keep the, up with the neighbors. <laughs> and, uh, Actually, now I digress. Here's the thing, is uh, um, I just got a boyfriend, very exciting, every 17 years, like to go for a little monogamy. And uh, I had to get a boyfriend because I got sick of sleeping with strangers. Oh, I love the silence. Because <laughs> I'm the only one that's ever slept with a stranger. Okay, that's fine. Um, <laughs> So, uh, but I made the decision that I didn't want to sleep with strangers anymore because I hate that awkward moment when you're having sex with a stranger and you think to yourself, God, is this where he kills me? Hmm. <laughs> it's very awkward. <laughs> also, very hard to have an orgasm when you are poised for flight. Because <laughs> you're very tense. Okay. Um, and it's awesome. It's, I met my boyfriend online, which I, I always get silenced because I, it's not, not golden shower chat room. We met in a, in, a, in a dating, dating thing. Millions of people do it. It's a online dating thing. And I'm, I love the online dating thing because I'm not good with actual men. Actual men, when I meet them, it's not good. It's, it's I, t I talk to them like they're people and then we become friends and then you have missed the win window of f***ing opportunity. So... <laughs> But the thing is, is with the online dating, it's awesome. Because me trying to hit on a guy in real life is me standing next to him trying to use my powers of telekinesis uh, to get him to ask me out. I can't even bend a spoon. He thinks I'm having an aneurysm. So uh, the online dating is great because it's a drop-down menu option. It's clarity. Holy smokes, the clarity is amazing. I am a woman looking for a man to date. Yay! I win! And then you talk to them for like a week and a half online, and then you go to a Starbucks, and you sit across a tiny table from each other, and you look at each other, and you go, mm, no. <laughs> and then you go back home, and you do it again until you meet somebody who invents video games for a living, and you go, oh my god, that's the coolest job. I want to be with you always. And um, he invents video games for a living. That's what my boyfriend does. He invents video... I was like, dude, how did you get that job? And I call him dude because I'm romantic like that. See how good I am? <laughs> And uh, it's a great job, though. I was like, how did you get that? And everybody in my life is hilarious. So he said, well, it's perfectly obvious how I got that job. I fought my way through several levels. <laughs> and then I killed the boss. OK. Ha <laughs> <laughs> Three people. Good for me. You know, really going for a laugh, not an applause. But you know what? I'll take it. I'll take what I can get. That's what I'm saying, guys, wearing ties. Nice work. OK. Um, <laughs> Oh, hi, light that's probably been on for a half of an hour. Okay, so, uh, flurry of folks and then I'll leave. Anyone? Anyone? And <laughs> it's great. I usually end with, a, like, uh, I don't know, sparklers coming out of my ass. And, uh, <laughs> bottle rocket. No, I do none of that. Anyway, um, here's the only thing, is I hate a practical joke. I hate a practical joke. I was set up on a practical joke when I first moved to Los Angeles. I was told that I could get a massage down on Venice Beach. You can get touched, yes. So, so I go. I go to Venice Beach, and I go to the old Chinese dude that I'm told to go to, Mr. Lee. He's got a table and some tents. Don't break up into discussion groups. I'm right there, lady. Okay. <laughs> you guys are like, what am I, a band? So what do you want to do after? I don't know. So, okay. Whisper. Okay. It's not a helicopter pad. <laughs> you guys whisper like... Wow. <laughs> Drunky Drunkerson just pointed and laughed at you. Um, okay. So here it is. Flirt. Seriously. Almost done. Okay. Um, I'm, I'm working with Mr. Lee. Mr. Lee, shorts and a t-shirt, right? Me wearing shorts and a t-shirt, laying on his table. He's working on my back. Life is good. And then he starts working on my legs. And he's working up my legs. And he's working up my legs. Yeah, until I am forced to say aloud to Mr. Lee, hey, that's where I keep my vagina. <laughs> you need to move to the other leg. Or up to the left and faster. <laughs> One of the two, because I am not made of stone, ladies and gentlemen. And get this, a lot of comics sell crap after their shows, and I'm not talking about CDs or books that they've written. I'm talking about actual crap. T-shirts, baseball caps, bumper stickers, really anything that isn't nailed down, because there's no money in stand-up comedy. Don't let the clothes throw you. 
<laughs> and uh, so I'm working in Tulsa, and this uh, <laughs> and this woman comes up to me after the show and says, "You need to t- 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 sell a T-shirt that says up to the left and faster, because that'd be funny." Well, no, no, that <laughs> that would not be funny, first of all. And I can't sell that T-shirt for the very simple reason that I don't want to be the vagina T-shirt lady. <laughs> And second of all, and this is from a strictly sales point of view, that wouldn't be the t-shirt. The t-shirt would have to say, horrifyingly enough, that's where I keep my vagina with a big arrow going down. (laughs) And I would sell a million of them. And for the fellas, it would be, that's where I keep my vagina with a big arrow going to the left, like I'm with stupid. (laughs) And I would sell a billion of those. And I could count all of my money in hell. Because that's where you count your vagina t-shirt money. Sitting in a double wide North Platte. Okay, thanks a lot, you guys. Have a great night.